Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking about an over the top beautiful day, here I guess this is paradise, we are just inside the Florida line from the, my great home state of Georgia. to come off my truck. Oh well, probably has something to do with one of these mini warning lights on my uh, dashboard. So this is, what is it? It is already Wednesday, December 6th, 2023, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> so I woke up this morning. I don't know how many of you guys know that uh, song if I had a hammer I'd hammer in the morning I'd hammer in the evening all over this world and I was waking up singing if I were a doomer if I were a doomer I would doom scroll in the morning I would doom scroll in the evening all over the news I doom scroll danger I doom scroll wildfire. I doom scroll melting ice caps. I doom scroll death to all my brothers and sisters all over the world. So that's what I would be doing if I were a doomer. But instead, I am rolling down the open road on this gorgeous day ostensibly to go look at real estate but uh which i have absolutely no intention of buying it just simply gives me an excuse to uh get in my gas sucking truck blow fossil fuels out my ass uh driving around on a gorgeous day listening to good music <clears throat> and i'm going to be stopping in uh, Madison, Florida at one of the best restaurants in the state of Florida, right up there with Fred's Market Cafe in Lakeland. We're going to O'Neill's Country, Country Buffet in Madison, Florida for an absolutely all-you-can-eat uh, Thanksgiving feast with drink is $13 for this unbelievably delicious home-cooked food. Uh, so I'm going to make a stop there to fill my belly with good grub and then head off into the wild blue yonder on my latest adventure to see what life holds so uh, I was hoping my buddy was going to join me but I guess he has a boat motor to sell so uh, I had to leave my buddy behind to sell his boat motor to some clueless fucking moron while I uh, head out for the day on this gorgeous day on the planet uh, the only thing missing is, uh, you know, some doomer chick or normie chick or whatever uh, here in the seat beside me. So I get up this morning and uh, while I'm having my planet-saving cup of coffee and I decide to 
stroll over to medium.com for uh, my daily dose of doom and it's a good one you know all the all my old friends in the doomosphere are there uh, you know it's just one article after the next after the next after the next how completely fucked we are uh, that there is no way to turn this goddamn freight train around we're all fucked we're all doomed uh, it's the it's the uh, same old faces uh, pointing out to those of us who have not figured it out on our own that we are fucked there's not a goddamn thing we're gonna do about it so you might as well scroll down to the next article and uh, open it up and read about how fucked we are there's not a goddamn thing we're gonna do about it you finish that article and you scroll down and uh, I think I made it through four of those uh, pointing out the no shit Sherlock information that we are so fucked we're all doomed we're all gonna die there's not a fucking thing we can do about it and uh, so then uh, I, I went from there over to uh, Zillow.com and, and I mapped out five properties in the state of Florida to uh, potential real estate investments in the state of Florida uh, in late 2023 uh, after reading all of that fucking doom and gloom so I I got my five properties mapped out, uh, you know, to give me an excuse to get in my gas-sucking truck and pointlessly blow fossil fuels out my ass while listening to good tunes, getting ready for a delicious lunch on a beautiful day. So I figured I should check in with Pile of Fish to see if I had any, uh, any fish on the line. And uh, I, I had a 76-year-old woman uh, dangling on the line. I actually, I had actually messaged this woman a, a few days ago. And so I thought it, instead of saying, damn it, I wish you were 10 years younger, I thought it might be better to change it to damn it I wish I were 10 years older and uh, so she sends me this long message e you know the 76 year old woman uh, you know emailing this 64 year old man you know just assuring me that age is just a number Sam age is just a number yeah but the number 76, uh, you know, you know, even if I could flip those numbers to 67, uh, age is just a number. It's just a number. It's just a bunch of rotting fucking teeth. It's a bunch of gray hair falling out of your fucking head. It's a bunch of. Uh, it's a bunch of. I don't know, uh, arthritis, uh, and age, age is just a number. So anyway, so she said she absolutely loved my profile, loved my profile, that I sounded like the kind of guy she wanted to meet. And uh, she says that she, she likes to associate with happy people happy people she can she told me i can tell you have a happy person vibe so uh this astute woman immediately picked up on my happy person vibe and so she really thinks we should at least get together 
so she's an artist uh, living on the way there. So her her idea for a date is let's go what did she say let's go pick up curious objects off the beach and make art that's what she does she that's what she loves to do her idea of a date and Sancho Panza is fully in support of that so I guess I will have a date with a 76 year old hippie chick artist uh, and we're going to pick up curious objects off the beach to make art because we have the happy person vibe so uh, I will try not to make uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'll wear my we sorry we're fucked t-shirt uh, on my on my date with this woman and uh, probably shouldn't be talking about you know the curious objects like I don't know hypodermic needles and uh, all, all of the various uh, single-use plastic bottles and the usual flotsam and jetsam of curious objects washing up on the beach so, but you know uh, that just sounds like a a great way to spend the day so not sure she uh, vibed with my real estate investment interest that I mentioned she doesn't look like a real estate investor from her photos and description uh, but who knows I don't look like a real estate investor either from my photos and description either so there you go so that is what I am up to today while uh, my buddy is selling a boat trailer and uh, my other buddy is hard at work at Walmart and uh, all of my Yankee friends up in New York are buried in the snow I am driving down a beautiful back road in Florida getting ready to have a delicious meal on a beautiful day listening to music wishing wishing my happy vibe hippie chick was hell 20 years younger and my life would be complete just letting you know there is another way to live there is another way to live if you're not happy with the way you live and you want to get the happy person vibe let me show you how to do it get out there and uh, enjoy the happy person vibe while you still can bye guys